absolutely an insane episode. I am just baffled at how picture perfect, how Studio Bones is just getting it from the anime. Like, they are really, st I mean, from the manga, they are staying justice to the manga. And I'm at a loss of words with how amazing, like, it just, what? Good God, and Deku's Power Awakens episode, so you know it's gonna be lit, but hello. I am not next. I'm sorry that I'm late. I was at PAX. So you will be seeing some, maybe, maybe, I'm going to try to upload this unboxing of all the stuff that I got from this anime store. So wait on that. We should be seeing a lot of uploads going up this week. Uh, catching up on stuff, Dragon Ball Super, all the other animes, Re, Re, Zero, Re Zero, Big Order, you know, Dragon Ball Super, all that stuff. One Piece, I'm trying, Naruto, I'm trying to get all caught up to date with that. So please bear with me. Everyone has been tweeting me, yo, you gotta watch the My Hero. You gotta, everyone's like, oh, the DBZ episode, of course, but everyone's like, you gotta watch the My Hero. You gotta watch the My Hero. And I'm like, like, I know what's gonna happen, but I just want to see it beautifully animated, you know? And oh my god, it was. And the fact that just the OST is godlike in this show. If it was perfect when he went to go save Nice Person, or her name was like Ochaka, something like that. And he went to go save her when the. Uh, the monster, the Goliath monster that was worth like zero points. You gain nothing from it. Just put it, you gain points from running away from it. It's impossible to beat since they all assume that all the people that are trying out for this school right now, the UA Academy, that none of them are capable enough in order to defeat this uh, Goliath monster. Which, you know, they say that in the beginning that none of them are capable of defeating that. Even got Baku Go, which has, he has the strongest quirk. Uh, he has probably one of the strongest quirks compared to all everyone else is trying out, you know? And it's interesting enough that they show that everyone else is running away. It really, this is a lot of symbolism that a lot of people don't really point out, all right? They're running away from this chick who's in trouble when isn't the point of a hero to help somebody who is in need, you know, who's in trouble, who is incapable of helping themselves, stopping themselves from this insert here? Isn't that what a hero is? Last I just I thought that's what it was, you know? And they go out of the way to help and save not run away and be selfish to earn points for a school to do what he's doing. I was like, what? Why is none of them not going? All of them should go back, squat up, and help her. You know, you all would have gained points. But I knew, you know, when I first read this chapter, I knew that there was going to be something like that. I was like, okay, no, this is a hero based off a hero show. And the main character is in love with one of the strongest heroes of the entire series. No, there is no way that they're just going to let all these people off like this. And they did. And I was like, okay, he has to benefit from this. And he does. He gets this little pamphlet, of course. Well, before that, he unwakens his powers. And when All Might does point out and say this body can't have the repercussions, he's going to have to handle it. He can't. All of his bodies, he just broke. He broke. So I, I've, he's not going to be using his powers for a while now. Uh, he, he just has to get his body ready for it because it broke like like how he's talking about how it breaks everything breaks his body snaps Unfortunately enough though. He did build his body enough to the point that where he wouldn't explode Thank God like actually he did say that his insides would explode and then he'd die He built his body up to the point where that won't happen. He can uh, Retain the damage no matter how much it is. He will be alive. He will live He will see live to see the next day and retain the damage, but it's gonna be a lot you know it's gonna take a huge toll off him his left arm was burnt and broken uh his feet were broken everything about him was broken except for his left arm he couldn't move he was literally willing to do a texas smash to the ground to relay his fall and then his other left arm be broken i'm like yo you really wanna that can you wanna go through this but can we just talk about the ost this is what i want to talk about as soon his face was in shock and i love when they do this stuff in anime i love absolutely love when they do this in anime especially on luffy's face more along when they do this in uh, a lot of animations and especially in anime and they did this for him i was like yo it's go time i love when they snap because you know it's about to be some heat dude and it was, it was just go time he just dips he runs and I just unconscious it was symbolic because he did the same thing for katsuki for bakugo he did the exact same thing it was symbolic with the little liquid monster except that time he couldn't do anything this time he could and he changed the tide he jumped so high he's like smash and you can see the veins like coursing through his entire body the power the cork was going through his body because it takes two to three hours to actually happen and he took this uh he's taking this test that's what he's getting ready for you know that same day the same early morning and Good God, his body is just, it was circling throughout his entire body, therefore it was going throughout his body then, and his quirk fully activated then, 
and good god he just went in dude he smashed that thing in one hit and you got to think about it too and a lot of people know this Deku at this point has one of the strongest all mights or the one for alls because here's how it works okay and this is not a spoiler I'm trying not to spoil this from the manga this is just facts it was already pointed out in the anime what all might said is it's not his power it was given to him kind of like I was given to Deku this power is handed down picture it like the avatar you know how the avatar is all of these like power is handed down to him all the knowledge which acquires him to be able to handle and control these powers better than actual bender of this ability that's the avatar think about it that way that's what all for one or one for all is it's pretty much someone who's the power constantly keeps handed on as the power keeps being handed on it gets stronger so all might was the strongest person to have one for all than all the other people that had it before him then the next person who's going to have it after all might will become stronger than all might which deku will be he's calling deku his predecessor his predecessor the, the word for it is something like that okay i can't say it screw me right but especially when i look at it that way deku will eventually become stronger than all might even in the manga he's not even stronger than all right now in the manga. i'm just saying dude that's the correlation to how he's gonna go you know how this is going to work he explained that and i'm just reiterating what he explained no spoilers just reiterating what he explained which he did explain that the power to become stronger as it's passed down so of course you see right now that that's definitely not the case will he become stronger we don't know but it i mean it could be like some avatar any type of stuff where yeah he could be but i don't i, I can't appear it that to it that much because that just seems like where it's the road it's going to be headed but this was just amazing i love the music the music where it just came in like that and it was really fitting for the scene and just ah so symbolic to him making up for what he couldn't do for katsuki and then he actually saved this girl the girl who did help him out so much she was so nice and innocent man and god just i wanted to really oh my god it was so good i, I actually rewatched this episode like three times with how amazing this episode was you know it was really warm my heart too is at the end when what is freaking was uh all my was talking to him and so like you know what that's not what a hero does screw that i say screw that now i was like yes i 100 percent agree screw that a hero is supposed to go out of his way to help somebody and risk her life this is also a main quote that all might did in like episode two is when he did this when yeah when he went to go save katsuki he did this he's like oh i was a fool you reopened my eyes to show that you do have to risk your life no matter what condition since i am a hero since you are a hero you're more here better than me and i was like yes yes it was just it, a lot of people didn't realize that they're just thinking of themselves they're being way too safe i was like stop this you have to like take a a risk you know like go out of your way take a risk do something god like i don't know like just, just running away and i did not like how the fact that i just did not like how they're running away all right i'm gonna be honest i didn't like how they're running away and especially like the guy with the glasses i can't remember his name but the stupid fast guy i don't like him because he thinks he's a know-it-all he thinks he always has the right answer he thinks he always knows what he's doing and like he's like a strategist and i'm like bro just take the goddamn l just take the l because what you're doing dude is a little biased you're like oh i witnessed it and i'm glad that he at least realizes that he deserves what he deserves it's not like a one punch man like Tama where they're like oh he's a fraud they actually know that he's powerful well he knows and the girl knows outside of, and all my knows and like i think some of the actual teachers know because when he was doing his power and it awakened he went to go attack that rank zero monster a lot of people in the teachers in the council actually witnessed themselves they were shot they stood up from the chairs so i'm assuming that they know but like it could be worse you know i remember when i was watching one punch man i get pissed off all the time i was like yo why are they not crediting him man but i know now a lot uh, a few people know that he actually is powerful and they're like oh maybe for that it's oh he's safe though like a lot of people right now think he just got injured from like the the clash i don't freaking know they're so stupid i some of these random ais these random I'm gonna call them AIs for now. Some of these random AIs, these bystanders, they're so clueless as ever. And then you can clearly tell the characters that are somewhat important or of relevance know the actual answer and the truth. Those ones, it's kind of a sign where you know they're relevant, you know? Kinda know, yeah, that glass guy, you probably see him more often, but. Yeah! Yeah, he got accepted into UA. I was so happy for him, dude. Yeah, I was so happy for him. Next time, you'll be seeing, though, I don't really know what we'll be seeing next time, because I actually didn't even bother to watch the next time. 
Um, but I can't wait for the next time for the episodes, though. It's every single Sunday. So I can't wait for that. And I'm assuming he's going to be going into UA, UA High, which he's just going to be practicing. It's going to be cool. They're going to be introducing other characters that are also main characters. You're going to be seeing, like, if you look up my record, I mean, you see all these characters in, like, images with Deku. They're most likely going to be introducing those characters, like the frog girl and stuff like that, and the guy with the fire and ice. Probably going to be introducing a lot of those characters. You'll see as the show goes on, but that's it. So if you enjoyed, guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Your feedback down below, and with that, I'll catch you all later.